song, This Is Amazing Grace, uh, took a long time to write it uh, because I, I wrote it with a buddy of mine who was in a band called Paramore at the time several years ago. And as it changed hands through the years, this little cheap MP3 that we made on our laptop, um, it found its way to Bethel Church in Reading. And Jeremy Riddle, who's one of the worship leaders there, asked if he could rewrite the verses. And we were like, of course, we haven't even thought of this song in years, go ahead. And he wrote the verses and, and now it's on their Bethel Live record, and I remember hearing it and thinking, man, I love how this song turned out. Um, I want to put it on my record. Ever since then, I've been leading it and singing it at my church at home, and the song This Is Amazing Grace is there in the title. It's about um, the amazing grace and unfailing love um, that this God, this King of glory, the King above all kings, um, the verses are all about His, His majesty and what He's done, what He can speak into existence, and how He brings our chaos back into order, and He makes the orphan, the sinner, his son and daughter, how this King of glory, through his amazing grace and his unfailing love, took our place on this cross and bore our sin and, uh, and, and went to our grave so that we might be set free, so that we might be forgiven. I mean, it's the story that God has written that he's let us all be a part of, this, this story of, of falling away and, and him reaching out for us and this redemption and renewal happening. And my heart is filled with thankfulness to what God's done whenever I get to sing this song. And, uh, I'm so excited to have it on the record so I can sing it with people as I travel around and hope you guys like it.